Hey guys and gals of YouTube, how y'all doing? Dave Boyd here and uh, come down to the David Lawyer Life channel. You know, I don't remember what channel it was, one of the YouTube channels talking about Glock pistols. And the guy was basically saying that um, they work fine as long as you don't you know, do any modifications or anything. Basically, just straight out of the box. And um, I, I, I think we had a little discussion about some of the modifications that I like to do, but basically I would also agree with that. First of all, we got Glock 17, the Kessel one's been on here a few times. It's a third gen with extended mags. We'll go ahead and do a quick function test. Empty mag, empty gun. <clears throat> now, this gun, uh, I really hadn't been to the range, so went to the range because the weather was nice on Saturday. And I wish I'd taken some videos, had to learn to take some videos of it. So this gun here is a uh, Glock 17 Gen 3 with the stippling and, you know, grinding off and stuff. But the biggest thing, it's got this hardened arms slide here, and it's got some modifications. Anyways, uh, ran a magazine through. See right there, there it is. And found... So the magazines, like this one here, is not holding it open after the last shot's fired. And this could be the magazine slightly worn, got a little bit of wear on the side here or right here. And it could this would allow the magazine to sit down a little bit low. And so does that mean the magazine's trash? Um, something to think about. Anyways, the gun was uh, getting a lot of double feeds and all kinds of malfunctions. That one's fine. Got a lot of malfunctions, fell to feeds, stuff going on. That makes it's also worn, but it doesn't look to be the same condition. It's fairly soft up here. Um, so I was thinking that maybe the recoil string is probably a little bit, um, might be a little bit firm. The other magazine will hold back. So let's take a look at this one. Once again, heavy wear through here. That would probably do it. Very soft. Uh, black. This is one of the ones I think that's doing it. It's getting a lot of like double and triple feeds. And all that was self-defense loads. Uh, PMC, nine millimeter full metal jacket, 147 grain. Just SC to run fine. Plus P also ran fine. But I think I might in the future run some magazines and some known ammunition and figure out what this gun actually likes, what it doesn't like, etc. But I'm glad while we're on camera here, we got a chance to see these two mags. So both of these have uh, some pretty heavy damage here and here. And I'm thinking that's probably what's caused this. Now I thought it was interesting because <clears throat> I always thought that was the argument for not putting in aluminum or metal mag releases. It doesn't fill up these magazines, but this still has a plastic clock one in there. And it's managed to dig up these magazines pretty good. Yeah. So I'd say maybe these mag tubes need to be replaced. Seven dash one. So these are all from the same batch. These are probably from the same gun, and may very well be the original mags for this gun. I'm curious now. should be, yep, that's right there. I guess I could swap that around. But this is just, this is just the, the Glock plastic one. And I'll be honest, it doesn't look particularly worn. Hmm, may have to change the toy. One of the new extended ones. What do you guys think, guys and gals out there? Anyways, so that's like I said, I would now definitely agree that, yeah, if you want your gloves to be ultra reliable. 
probably don't uh, don't change anything out. Uh, with the possible exception, I mean, the one thing that I, I still feel fine changing out is, and this applies not so much to the new fifth gens, but previous gens, I like to put this extended Glock so an extended release in because Glock's flat sheet metal ones are leave a little bit to be desired for me. They it's hard to manipulate. Little nine mils are fine, but your ten mil forty fives are a little bit harder. But the new fifth gens they stick out a bit, definitely easier. Plus they're ambidextrous, but you know I really do like the gen. Otherwise it functioned flawlessly, so I kept around through it. And two of the magazines did function fine, all the one did not hold it open, nevertheless it fed fine. But one of these magazines was very disappointing and quite alarming. So anyways, appreciate the views out there, the thoughts. Um, I'll come up with more information. We'll do some work and work some loads out for this thing. You know, so next time y'all stay safe. Take care. Let me know what you guys do. I'll tell you guys and girls out there. Ciao.